Hi, this is Scott Kilo CR6, Delta Alpha Yankee, also WRTI407. Since today we're talking once again about the Ocean KG935 Golf. This is installment number three in the Operator Series for this radio. In this installment, we're going to be talking about uh, a couple of things, your standby backlight and your backlight timeout. And this is another one of those things, sort of like dealing with the beep. It's an annoyance thing that you're going to run into right away when you're uh, starting to fiddle with this radio. Now, by default, um, the radio comes with the standby backlight in the off mode, and then you're, uh, I think you're at eight seconds for your backlight timeout. So let me show you how this affects what, what you're going to be doing. So let's say you've turned your radio on and, and you want to make an adjustment in your menu, and that often involves maybe looking at some notes, looking at a manual. Now this thing is set up currently so that um, when the radio is activated, either turned on or it gets radio traffic, um, my backlight uh, comes on and stays on for 10 seconds. Now you notice right there, as soon as it went out, the screen went completely black. Now if you just turn a knob or something, it'll bring that back on. So it's going to be on for about 10 seconds. So I'm holding it in my hand. I'm looking over here in the manual and okay, I've, I've figured it out. I'm, I'm reading. Oh, I look back to the screen and pfft, it's black. And this is super, super annoying. So let me cover a couple of things that are going to help you out with this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to deal with the standby backlight. And what this is, is this going to to be what you see on the display screen when the radio is in standby mode. It hasn't received any traffic. Nothing has happened to cause that backlight to activate. Uh, again, if a, if a radio transmission came in, for instance, uh, yeah, key down on five, so you get some radio traffic comes in, backlight comes on, goes down for 10 seconds, then it's going to go dark again. Uh, so that's what we're going to be dealing with. So I press menu, and what we want to do is go to item number six and that's bright standby. We're going to press that again. Now you have a number of different options here. You have off and then you have degrees of brightness. So let's turn this to something like three. Okay, so select that and let's exit. So if we wait for our 10 seconds to expire, what you, what you should see at this point is after 10 seconds, when it goes into standby mode, you're going to have a, well, we're down to black again. So let's see what happened there. Yeah, we're in three. So let's crank that up to five. And let's select and exit. And let's wait another 10 seconds and see what the display looks like when it drops out after 10 seconds has expired. I should. Okay. So now you can barely see it with the light, but I can barely see, barely, barely see the repeater and channel 5. Uh, and that was on a setting of 5. So let me show you what I ended up doing on mine. <laughs> I ran it up to 10. Um, because to, to be completely honest with you, let's let's find the lowest setting. So let's go to 8 and see what 8 looks like when this thing drops out. So it's uh, the degree of adjustability. Like I said, at 3 we should have been able to see something. At 5 we should have seen just kind of like a half diminished screen and there we are. So it sort of dropped it out. It's usable at this point so I can actually see what's going on. Uh, but to be completely honest with you, I'll show you the setting that I use. I turn this sucker up to 10 and call it a day. Uh, that way backlight effectively is always on. The display is always lit. And I will tell you in terms of battery performance, this hasn't really had much effect whatsoever. I, I kind of like it. Uh, so now that takes us to our backlight timeout. So backlight timeout, that's those 10 seconds we were waiting to expire before. So that's going to be on item number 14, our backlight. So as I said, I've got the, you can set this thing up for a number of things. So you can set this up for always off. I don't know why anyone would want always off. Always off means you'd never be able to see the display. Um, always on means it's always on. I sort of effectively have that, to be honest with you, having it set at 10. Um, or I can set it up for anywhere from 1 to 20 seconds. So you can kind of fiddle with this. Maybe you might want to go with 10 seconds. And then maybe for your... Let's see. Maybe for your standby. Maybe something like seven. 
Um, and and this, if you are concerned about saving the battery, that might be a good setup. So uh, again, I'll leave this up to you, but this sort of gives you an idea of what I'm talking about. So what you're trying to eliminate here is having the thing go black screen every time you turn around. So right here, and I, again, I don't know if you if you're able to see that on the on the video or not. I'm hoping that you can, um, but it's now kind of cut down to. It's dimmed it out pretty good, but you could see it if you were in, for instance, a darkened room. Um, so that that might be the way to go. Um, either way, it's up to you. It's your radio, right? But that is something you're going to want to fiddle with right away before you start messing around with any front panel operations. It'll avoid a lot of frustration. So with that, I'll bring it to an end. Thank you for watching and are listening. This is Scott, Kilo Sierra 6, Delta Alpha Yankee, also WRTI 407. Have a wonderful day.